Hey, Skip, I think he's out of ammo. I hope. Are you sure? How can I write my mother and tell her I was shot by one of our own officers? Yeah. They're in target practice. Uh, and, uh, Chuck! A nice, nice corner, Chuck. Oh, I'm not finished yet. I got a jam. No, 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 no. You're all finished. That's plenty, plenty. Well. Hey, Skip. Tow plane's calling. Wants to know if he can surrender. Oh, very funny. Now tell him we're all through and I'll bring the target in. Come on in. We're finished. Oh, that poor Chuck. I'm worried about him. About him? What about us? He's behind the gun. Look, numbskull. If Captain Binghamton ever gets a look at that great big fat goose egg on Barker score, he'll railroad him out of here so fast it'll take a, a month for his skivvies to catch up with him. But Mr. Parker's got other good qualities that make up for this bad gunnery score. They don't assign an answer to a boat because the crew likes him. Well, what'll we do? <sighs> Uh, if I was to catch you guys changing Parker's score, so help me, I'd court-martial a whole bunch of you. <laughs> Don't forget that. <laughs> I'm going in for a nap now, in case you boys got, uh, <clears throat> anything to do. Uh, you do that, Skip. Rest easy. <laughs> Always makes my day brighter to cheat a little. Hey, Bird, you're the best shot on the base. What's your score? 89. Well, Parker's always doing things backwards. We'll reverse your score. A 98, eh? That's kind of high. Can't go any higher. <laughs> Uh, Mikhail, uh, when you do something wrong, who's the first one to call you on it? You are, sir. That's right. And when you do a crackerjack job, who's the first one to give you a pat on the back? You are, sir? Yes, confound it me, Mikhail. Now you're making it very difficult for me. I want to congratulate you. Oh. You and your boat had the best gunnery score on the base. Oh. And I want you to give my personal congratulations to Ensign Parker. Ensign Parker, sir? That's right. He had a remarkable score. That boy shot a, uh, 98. At 98? Yes, you know, Mikhail, I was quite a shot myself when I was his age. Oh, I'm sure you were, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm, he used to call me old Eagle Eye. Uh, uh, right here, uh, Eagle Eye. <laughs> sir? Kittredge, doors were made for knocking. On a fighting ship, Binghamton, we don't call them doors. We call them hatches. And they're for coming in to and going out of. End of lesson. <laughs> when do I get my supplies? You get your supplies when I'm good and ready to give you your supplies. And what are you hanging around for? Well, things are just getting interesting, sir. I... Get out. Aye, aye, sir. Bye-bye, Captain. Uh, bye, sir. Bye-bye, Captain? Yes, bye-bye. You run your ship, I'll run mine. <laughs> My supplies. You know, like it's so confusing, the people coming in here out and knocking and everything. Supplies. Yeah, well, oh, I'll tell you something, Captain Kittredge. If you would bring your ship into the harbor like everybody else, there would be no problem with your supplies. The USS Clive is a fighting ship, Binghamton. I want plenty of water around me. You don't catch me coming into an unprotected harbor. Unprotected? What about my PT boats? Your PT boats? Those little toys are gonna protect me? Toys? <laughs> I'll tell you, a PT boat pound for pound can outgun anything in the Navy. Oh? They're carrying guns now? I thought you just played around with them in your bathtub. <laughs> Not only are we carrying guns, but I've got an Ensign Parker here who isn't even dry behind the ears yet, and he can outgun anybody on that tin can of yours. Oh, come now, Binghamton. You must be suffering from desk fatigue. Oh, really? Then how would you like to have a little contest? Paper clips at 20 paces? I'm thinking of a 50 caliber at a tow target. 
Well, if you're serious, agreed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and now, uh, how about the steaks? This would look very nice in my cabin. Oh, well, that, that's, that's my ship's clock. I've had that for 20 years. That was given to me by the Yacht Club. <laughs> well, if you're afraid. Uh, oh, uh, well... All right, all right, my ship's clock. Uh, against, uh, uh, against the wheel from that tin can of yours. The wheel from the Clive? Oh, come now, Binghamton. Okay, you're on. When? <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, dock area, 1,200 hours. We'll be there. This will be like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Skip, you must be kidding. Parker in a shooting match? Oh, brothers, he in for trouble. Yeah, you don't know the half of it, boy. Binghamton bet his prize clock, and if Chuck loses it for him, he's a dead ensign. Yeah, Lester here had to get my 98. Don't call me Lester. <laughs> Maybe, Mr. Parker, not as bad as we think. Let's face it, Fuji. Chuck has enough trouble finding the trigger, let alone the target. Yeah, you're right, I think. Hey, I got it. Suppose Mr. Parker has a little accident, and he doesn't show. How about I get his hand caught in the engines, break all his fingers? That'll help. Oh, you're all hard, all hard. Oh, boy. Hey, Skip. I got an idea. Maybe there's some way I can take his place. Nah, the captain's hooked on Parker and... Well, now, wait a minute. What is it, Skip? You got an idea? Nah, nah, nah. Second thought is kind of a dirty trick. Hey, I like it already. Hey, Skip, we got no choice. Like you just said, if Mr. Parker blows the match, he's a goner. Yeah, you're right. Binghamton probably use him for personal target practice. All right, listen. Now, Chuck and that sharpshooter from the Clive will be shooting from the dock area at the main base, right? Yeah. Now, supposing we set up one of our 50s in the jungle, right where the target plane will pass. We put Virgil here on the gun, and it's a cinch. Even Parker wouldn't know. <laughs> That's wonderful, <laughs> Skip. <laughs> oh, hiya, Chuck. Hi, fellas. Uh, any guys want to pick up any tips? Uh, I'll be practicing for the big match on my trusty 50. Okay, okay, we'll do that. Come on, you guys, let's go. I said, come on. Will you guys come on? Skip, it's dangerous out there. <laughs> Didn't cock it yet. <laughs> Take careful aim, sir. What'd you say? <laughs> well, you guys sure are nervous. <laughs> What's he doing, Mikhail? Oh, well, he's, uh, he's uh, getting the right mental attitude, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, how's it going, Parker? <laughs> oh, you broke my concentration. Oh, sorry. Well, let's watch it. Uh, sir? Yes, I'll look here. Oh, no, 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 All right, this way, Captain. I see you brought the wheel. He brought the wheel. Yeah, brought the wheel. Did you bring yes, the sir. clock? Oh, the clock is right over there. Captain Binghamton? Yes. 
Commander McHale, this is Ensign Dennison. How are you, sir? How are you, Ensign? Oh, Parker. You called, Cap? Ah, uh, yes. Now, this is your opponent. This is Ensign Dennison. This is Ensign Parker. Hi, Parker. Oh. You can just call me, did I? Say, you're a little nervous, aren't you? Hands are all sweaty. Ah, uh, are you two gladiators ready? Mr. Dennison, dead eye? Oh, Skip, I haven't figured my uh, muzzle velocity rate of fall yet. Won't take but a minute. Oh. He's got to be kidding. You just wait until he shoots, Kettridge. Hey, Skip, what's seven times six? Six. Uh, 42, 42. That's right. <laughs> I got 50 bucks that says Parker creams your boy. You've got yourself a bet. Yeah, the boys in the engine room want to get a piece of this. Name your poison. 75 bucks. 75 bucks? Now yeah. bet. Come here, Gruber. Excuse me, Clance. What's the idea? They don't have a chance. I know, I know. That's why I gave them even money. Nothing <laughs> doing. All bets are off. Yeah, but I already got 50 bucks down. If I call it off now, they get suspicious. All right, but not another nickel. And aren't you supposed to be someplace? Right on our way, sir. Well, shove off. Sorry, fellas. Fifty's all I can handle. Let's go, Forge. <laughs> well, since you're the visiting team, your man shoots first, Kittredge. Dennison. <laughs> Willie, call in that plane. Bring her in. Out here she comes. He's doing pretty good. Don't worry about it, Lester. It's in the bag. I'm counting on you. <clears throat> Report coming in. Mr. Dennison's score was 82. Nice shooting, Dennison. Thank you, sir. Yeah, not bad. Of course, today you're shooting against the best. <laughs> okay, hot shot, you're on. Good luck, Ed, uh, Charlie. Oh, thanks, Wally. <laughs> I can probably explain. You see, now, there was probably a sudden shift in the wind. Now, that had altered my windage of drift. Ah, come, 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 shift of it. Come right around to the Nor'east. Get him out of my sight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, Chuck. Uh, sir, sir, the, the pilot's coming down safely. Ah, uh, goody. <laughs> oh, this is a beauty. This will really dress up my wardrobe. Get the wheel, Dennison. You've got dirt on your face, Wally. <laughs> 
Can you imagine that? He shot down the target plane. Good shooting, dead eye. <laughs> my ship's clock. This nitwit has lost my ship's clock. Maybe if I lend him my wristwatch, maybe the... Oh, shut up, I'll kill him. I've had that clock for 20 years. But remember, sir, uh, to make an error is human, but to, to forgive, that takes somebody big. Uh-huh. Now I've got one for you, Mikhail. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and an ensign for Alaska. Oh, oh no, sir. No, no, Captain, Captain. You wouldn't ship him out, now, would you, sir? No, wouldn't I? I want to see the both of you in my office immediately. Dead eye. The only thing you managed to hit all day is me. <laughs> All right, Verge, what happened? Well, those two guys in the Clive jumped us, Skip. I couldn't shoot. Can you imagine those creeps not trusting us? Is Binghamton really gonna transfer him, Skip? Well, they transfer him. He's shipping out in the Clive this afternoon. Oh, poor dead eye. He's really dead. What are we gonna do, Skip? Just sit around while Mr. Parker gets shipped out to Siberia? Hey, say, listen, maybe we can get him a remand. Oh, sure. Who'd fly the plane? <laughs> well, let me think, will you? There must be some way to save him. Hey, Grover! Oh! Hey, those guys wanted to collect their 50. Tell them I went down with the ship, huh? Oh, come on, come on, get out there and pay them. Pay them! Get out there. Hiya, fellas. Okay, Gruber, where's our 50? Hiya, fellas, I've been looking all over for you. Right this way. Hey, you fellas, have been looking all over. You guys are sure how to find around here. Right this way. Here it is, gents. A genuine samurai sword, worth a hundred bucks. To show you I trust you, you can pay me the other 50 when you get a chance. Now, look, Buster, <laughs> we don't want a beat-up sword. We oh, want... Oh, I know just what it is you want, and I've got it. A Japanese pilot's uniform. Alterations free, and I'll throw in the goggles and the helmet. No, no. no. <laughs> guys drive a hard bargain. I've been saving this for the Navy Museum, but... Duty? What is that? What is that? Surely you must be joking. It's a wingtip of a Japanese Zero. <laughs> shot down in one of the most famous battles of the war. <laughs> Why, if this wing could talk... You know what it'd say? It'd say nothing doing. Now give us a 50. All right, go on. Pay him. Make it snappy. Oh, but Skip... Come on, pay him. Come on, come on, come on. All right, shove off, you guys. Hey, fellas. Have a little game of cards later, huh? I'll mark a pack. <laughs> hey, Skip. What's start, the big start. I gully, it might just work. What might just work? Get those guys in here. Right. Gentlemen, I will make this as brief as possible. Parker, here's your transfer. Now, don't touch it. The ink isn't dry yet. The USS Clive is anchored out in the harbor. It sails at 1,700 hours. I want you aboard it and out of my sight. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I'm transferring you to the Aleutians. Where all you can shoot down is some frostbitten seagull. Yes, uh, sir, I am. Don't interrupt me, Mikhail, or I'll find an igloo built for two. Oh, <laughs> sir, well, yes, sir, but uh, you see, sir, I, I just thought we'd better get underway. Uh, I wouldn't want Parker to miss the climate being anchored out so far. That's right. Shove off. Uh, yes, sir, and uh, don't worry about it, sir. You can, I'll get in there personally. Uh, I'm the 73. Uh, oh, Mikhail? Yes, sir? I certainly would have thought that you would fight to keep this trigger-happy menace. Yeah, I would have thought that, too. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. The, the Navy comes first. Yes, sir. Since when? Well, since... Oh, come on, sir. You can trust me. Yes, sir. Come on. Mikhail. Yes, sir. Why are you being so agreeable about this? Agreeable, sir? Whatever do you mean? Oh, that does it. I'm going to get my hat and go with you. Just to make sure that there's no hanky-panky. Well, if you don't mind, sir, I'd rather say my goodbyes here. Move! <laughs> Take one last look around, Parker. Feel that soft tropical air? Well, where you're going, tropical is anything above zero. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I've already written my mother for mittens. <laughs> Battle's
stations, enemy aircraft, evasive action. Evasive action, sir. Battle stations, yes, enemy aircraft. Battle stations. Where, 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 where is it? Coming right up out of the sun, sir. Enemy aircraft. Battle helmets. Battle helmets. Battle helmets. I don't hear a thing. Right up there, sir. Right there. Around any excitement. Uh, so what's been going on here? What, 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 what? You better stay right here, sir. He may be dangerous. <laughs> All right, you men cover me while I question him. Why, that's amazing, sir. He already had your gold braid in his sights when Parker shot him down. <laughs> well, mess with me, will you? Uh, good, but you, there's no war down below. Uh, sir, let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, you know, he kind of looks familiar. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, uh, congratulations, Parker. I, I couldn't have done better myself. Oh, yes, sir. Well, thanks, Skip. It was kind of a tough shot. You know, there were yeah. times I didn't even see that plane. Sure. <laughs> if I hadn't seen this, I wouldn't have believed it. As a matter of fact, I didn't see it. Oh, uh, well, sir, I, I'd like to put uh, Edson Parker in for a commendation. Oh, yes, I should say so. Oh, I tell you, Parker boy, you really come through when the chips are down. <laughs> and he had my gold braid right in his sights. Uh, <laughs> it's too bad he won't be here to receive his commendation, sir. Yes, it's too bad you won't be here to receive it. What do you mean he won't be here to receive it? Oh, oh well. Well, under the circumstances, Mikhail, bring the boat about. Bring the boat about? Yes. <laughs> You're going to have another chance, Parker. I'm tearing up your transfer. <laughs> well, control yourself, boy. Yes, sir. Just I'm so happy. I can kiss you. Oh. But remember, we're officers. Hold oh, my hand. Oh, yes, sir. Well, shake it, boy. <laughs> I just picked up a load of copra with the old Margo, and we're steaming along there. Well, thing. I'm all unpacked. Hey, hey Chuck. come on in, Chuck. Well, after all, this is in your honor, you know, a sort of a welcome back home party. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh. Gotta watch it. That's my trigger finger. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, drink it up, boy. You never know when you got. Uh... Say, Fuji, you don't have any relatives in the Air Force, do you? Me? <laughs> Oh, no. You know, I could have swore that pilot I shot down looked exactly like Oh, that. well, you know how it is with the Japanese. <laughs> yeah, you've seen one of us, you've seen us all. 